Thanks, Aaron. All right. <clears throat> the kid in that picture is making a funny face because some of his best friends just put his shoulder-length hair into pigtails. They begged him to let him do it, and being a good human guy, he went along with it. And this wasn't the only occasion either. Everywhere he went, he just loved to make people laugh and smile. It was like happiness just radiated out of him. He was a sunshine and rainbows kind of guy. In sports, he excelled, actually. In his first year across country, he ran races at 18 minutes. And that's incredible for someone who's never run like competitively before. In school, his determination led to his success. Anytime his grade dropped below an A, he'd crack open the books and study until it was back up to an A. He even involved himself in a bunch of groups, like the California Scholastic Federation, tutoring, and even a couple clubs. He believed that if he worked hard every day, things would go his way. He believed that everything he ever wanted would be handed to him on a silver platter. The light at the end of his tunnel was blindingly bright. He was young and naive, and he was excited for whatever life had in store for him. But then, about six months after this photo was taken, the constant sunshine in his mind's eye started to fade. Before long, it was completely covered by thick, somber clouds. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> He, there was no single reason as to why he felt the way he did. The life, the transition from life of the party to buzzkill shocked everyone he knew. I remember that shift and all the responses that tagged along with it. My friends either stopped talking to me completely or began texting me constantly just to make sure I was okay. I even had people call my parents or call my coach to tell them to check on me. That wasn't exactly fun. All those, all of my grades, the A's, they turned into B's, and then those B's into C's. All my race times, they dropped from 18 minutes to 20 minutes and over. I hate what I've become, and I hate that I'm not as great as I used to be. I don't see a light at the end of the tunnel anymore. That notion of a silver platter, it doesn't even exist. You know, despite the person I've become, I'm still told I'm funny and friendly and good humored. Every now and then I even get a wonderful or an amazing. I always appreciate compliments like that because they remind me of when I was this guy, of when I was the bright shining sun on a cloudless day and not a solemn storm cloud against an army of raindrops. I even tear up thinking about this guy sometimes. However, in receiving compliments like that, I realize that people are talking about the modern me. They're not talking about the kid in this photo. They're not talking about who I used to be. I might not be this kid anymore, but I'm still wonderful. I'm still amazing. <laughs> I might not think the same way, behave the same way, or even think the same way, or any of that stuff. I'm not that kid anymore. But that doesn't mean I'm not delightful and lovely and superb. I'm not that stranger in the phone anymore, but I'm still wonderful. I'm still amazing. <laughs> Becoming someone new shouldn't demean me. Becoming someone new shouldn't demean you either. You will always be wonderful and amazing, regardless of who you become. <laughs>